Jayaha Shiva Rajaya here from vitalcoaching.com. The topic for this video is five simple steps or tactics, strategies to optimize your body. You know that within the Vital Tantra system that I teach and, and um, you know, broadcast, um, vital body or body optimization is one of the core five branches when your body is optimized it's like it's an essential aspect of your life that you get right and in the body optimization aspect you've got two core aspects one of them is optimizing your diet and another one is optimizing the other parts of the other aspects of your body which is usually training or moving your body or having some form of of exercise and enough rest for instance but basically those are you know the the, the two things uh, it's nutrition and moving your body or exercise so let's look at five simple steps to optimize your body the code word for that is tanu yama tanu is body in sanskrit and yama is mastery it's what you want to achieve if you feel like your body is not at its full power it means that probably there is range for optimization. So if you want to, to start, just give yourself a mark between zero and 100% in terms of how optimized is your body. If you are in super good shape, you eat healthy and so on, you probably score in the 80 to 100% range. If you are heavily overweight, you feel tired all the time, you get sick a lot, your diet is in a mess, then you're probably in the you know, 20, 30, 40% range. So give yourself a mark so that you have a, a starting point. The next step um, th in which I want to, to go with you is extreme simplification of your strategies. Right now there is a lot of confusion. Even when it comes to uh, choosing the diet that is right for you, you might be exposed to so much information and the details are you know, mind-blowing. There is contradicting science on all that stuff. So it gets really confusing and the confusion stops you from making very simple choices. So what I want to do in this video is bring back to the essence. And I'm not a nutritionist, you know, I'm not necessarily a personal fitness trainer, but I've got my body wisdom and out of uh, years and years of experience and coaching people and training people into these fields, I realized that you can nail it to very simple tactics. Um, I'm going to do another video on the nutrition strategies, but for now, it's simply on the body, and some of it is nutrition as well. So, the first strategy, the first tactic is a very simple one. Move your body one hour every day. Move your body one hour every day. Any form of exercise is good at least when you start, okay? I'm talking about if you are in the, for instance, 30, 40, percent range, that there is lots of room for improvement. The first step is not to spend days or months hesitating on what kind of exercise you are going to do. It's like anything. You want to jog, jog, you want to go to the gym, fitness, whatever, climb steps, walk, climb mountains, uh, swim, bike, what? Ever you do is again is a step in the right direction so move your body one hour every day it doesn't matter what you do in the early stages in the beginning okay this is very important to understand because sometimes you are like afraid of making a mistake right you know oh, if I do yoga or should I go to the gym or uh, what kind of exercise is right for me any kind of exercise is right for you. As soon as you move your body, you cannot get it wrong. Yes, you might have some very specific health conditions, but don't hide yourself be behind an excuse. And don't be in that hesitation zone where you don't know which direction to go. Choose any direction, diversify, have fun. That's the first strategy. What I recommend as well is that you train five days a week and then you take two days break. That's what I do Saturday and Sunday. I drop my discipline. It doesn't mean that I'm not moving. You know, I might, I might keep on moving, but I remove the discipline aspect out of it. So what this does is that it gives, it gives space to my brain, to my system to relax and integrate what I've been doing during the week. So see, remember this, it's a very simple one. Move your body at least one hour, one hour every day. Strategy number two eat as much raw fresh 
unprocessed food as possible. The two directions right now that are very much emerging in, in the planetary trend is vegan trend and raw trend. If you are eating lots of vegetables and you are steaming them, that's fine, it's vegetables. Fruits, vegetables. If somebody comes to you and says, don't eat fruit because it contains too much sugar, I you know, fundamentally disagree with that from a base perspective. I would say eliminate all the sugars, all the processed sugars, all the sugars that you might be having. Fruits and vegetables, eat as much as possible as those of those and uh, you know vegetables if you steam them or if you cook them and so on that's fine but basically this is what is missing right now in most people people's diets they don't get enough fiber from natural sources there is there is way way too much processed foods and meats and you know, stuff that is basically not good for you with lots of additives and stuff. So basically go to the fresh product uh, uh, areas in your supermarket and just get as much vegetables and fruit as possible into your system. Nuts, seeds, uh, fresh juice, I mean, not processed juices, but you know, if you, if you press um, fresh, fresh juices, that's, that's an option as well. You know, seaweeds, basically this is it. You know, it's like bringing in the fresh products back into the core of your diet. Strategy number three, rest. Okay, this is a huge one. Most people believe that they can run their body you know, go to sleep at midnight, one o'clock, wake up at six, and that their body is not going to be impacted by that. No, it's like, here is a rhythm that I believe works probably for most people really well. It's like, by 10 o'clock, you slow down. Okay, by 10 o'clock, the two hours before midnight, 10 to 12, they are very, very important. This is a core uh, place where you are going to um, to receive lots of rest and, and reset your, your system. And by six o'clock or with the, the sunrise over here where I am, in, you know, it's a tropical place, so it's very natural for me to do that. But basically, this is the idea. It's like you have an eight hours rest period. And resting doesn't mean that you are sleeping all the time. You know, sometimes you might be laying on your back and you're not sleeping, but you're meditating, but you give your body space to, to, to rest and integrate. So this rest part, if uh, when when people approach me and they tell me, look, Shiva, I feel really tired all the time. I, at what time did you go to bed last night? Well, yeah, I went at one o'clock. At what time did you wake up? Well, 6.30 because I had stuff to do. I say, well, you're not resting enough. That's the first thing, okay? It's a very simple one to start integrating and stop denying it. It's like... Your body feels really good when it's rested. You have a high degree of energy. It's enough for me to go to, um, you know, and to go to bed late one time at 1 a.m. and wake up the following day at 6 a.m. to do my activation over here in this space, and I, I will feel like I'm not not performing right. I'm missing the energy. I'm missing the rest. That's it. This is strategy number three. It is the rest. Strategy number four is drink liquids. Um, in the US, apparently, you have 80% of people who are chronically dehydrated. It means that your body is not receiving enough liquids to process all the biochemical um, uh, reactions in your body. You need, you need the fluid, you need the liquid. So if you're not getting the liquid, uh, it's going to slow down your metabolism and not give you space to, to regenerate and recover. So this is another one, you know, the liquid. And the uh, easiest liquid is, of course, water, but you have a vast diversity of liquids which are really healthy. No sugars, you know, no, don't, don't use sodas, of course, but basically the liquids that I'm having here, you know, some of it is like uh, mixed with herbs, teas, whatever. But the point is this, is like drink enough throughout the day and um, that's gonna um, uh, uplift your your energy and bring you back to a place where your metabolism is functioning uh, really well strategy number five is to release 
something happens in the body when you are accumulating tension after a day of work or whatever you have been in traffic it's like there is a tension that accumulates and this tension is a contraction that creates lots of friction in your system and then eventually you have you are holding all that tension in your system in your muscles in your brain and that burns a lot of your resources, a lot of your energy. So if you want to be in a state of um, where you get more resource to your fire, more resource to your energy, and you feel higher and more optimized with a higher degree of energy, you need to find ways of releasing that. So there are three things that I do. The first one is uh, cold showers. You know, I mean, over here it's tropical area, so it's, it gets really hot. So I'm taking like five, 10 cold showers a day. I'm under the shower and just refreshing. That's strategy number one. The strategy number two is like I shake. You know, when I wake up in the morning, I do five minutes of shaking or sometimes longer. But this is the idea. You know, you shake your body and this process of shaking, it creates an energetic or emotional release. Strategy number three, very easy. You do the fire breath. So those three energetic or emotional release tactics they are very easy to implement and um, my you know my uh, advice is for you to start you know activi actively practicing all this in in your life um, the ideal practice is five minutes five minutes of each of those of the, the three you stay under the cold shower for five minutes you do the fire breath for five minutes and shaking for five minutes okay so this is it you know uh, move your body uh, eat uh, fresh, unprocessed uh, products. Um, uh, number three, rest, drink, and release. So, when you look at these strategies, the thing that probably strikes you is the simplicity of the tactics. You see, I'm not coming in with, or oh, you should get that specific supplement or mix that or be careful about the, the amount of eggs that you are eating, you know, all of that it's all fine-tuning It's like it's all very important but the first step where you start if you start implementing those five tactics into your life your the quality of your body will instantly go from you know a couple of points up uh, if you are at 40 percent my guess is that if you start implementing that in your life you will rise to 70 percent just like that not just like that, it will take one to three months because your body needs to build up, right? Especially if you haven't been exercising, if your diet has been in a mess, it takes a while to clean up and detoxify your system. So it takes a little bit of time and focus and energy, uh, focus your, your energy to make sure that you sustain that course over a certain period of time. But you see, it's not some um, wild, crazy trick that I'm giving you here. This is basic it's very basic and it's very easy to implement so if you're looking for the 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 magic bullet the, the, the point there and I say start with the basics you need to optimize your weight optimize your body you need to drink you need to rest and once all that is established then we enter into the fine-tuning making the fine-tuning aspects of how you train you know what you do with your training but when you get started it's just move your body you're going to burn calories you are going to optimize your weight you're going to optimize your body just by moving an hour a day five days a week and the same with uh, with eating fresh unprocessed foods it's very easy if you don't rest enough rest <laughs> your body needs to rest drink liquids and have some form of emotional release tactic and so again my guess is that you implement that and within a period of three months you will have a massive increase in the quality of your life your body goes from a degree of optimization if you are in the low range of uh, you know 30 40 50 percent you're going to go to 70 80 percent just like that because it's going to be feeling great you're going to get addicted to feeling good okay and then the more you do it the more you go like wow this is really the way to go many many more strategies you can add to that in terms of diet and exercise and so on many many more but this is the ba the basics these are the basics and the basics are simple to implement don't give yourself the excuse of not having enough knowledge or understanding this is you don't need anybody to prove that to you when I give you these points, 
you know that what I'm saying is good for you. This is body wisdom. Your body knows that moving your body an hour every day or more, just moving your body is good for you, right? You would never question that. You know that when you see a vegetable, you go like, this must be good for me. It's packed with life force. Look at the colors. It must be good for me. I should be eating more of this. And then you see a pizza and you go like, uh, yeah, I know that this is not as valuable as precious in terms of nutrition of value no matter what research says no matter I know instinctively because of my body wisdom so tap into that let me know how it goes what's the main challenge that you're facing with your body or are you applying any of these are any of these something that you are going to start applying straight away my advice is don't wait don't give yourself more excuses I I don't buy your excuses <laughs> you know, no matter what excuse you give me I know that all of this is stuff that you can start implementing in your life straight away. Okay? Let me know how it goes. I'll see you back in three months. Kidding. I'll see you back tomorrow. Love you.